I am sick of the trans community. The trans community are asking us to suspend our logical, rational, critical and analytical capabilities and replace them with sympathy for people who are clearly going through something mentally or neurologically. First it was transgender. A bunch of grown men asking us to call them women because they felt that way. Society played ball. They gave them operations. They made them become more feminine. They chopped off their testicles. They chopped off their penises. They gave them breast augmentations and hormone therapy. And hey presto, I'm a woman. The fact that their chromosomes clearly indicate that they are men means absolutely nothing. What matters is the way they feel. Rachel Dozel, a white lady in America, attempted to convince the world that she is transracial. She identifies as a black woman. She even had a position in the NAACP, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. A white woman convinced herself and the rest of the world that she's black. And she went to work in a black organization. The fact that her genetics indicate that she's European means absolutely nothing. What matters is the way she feels. Now here comes trans age. Emil Rattleband, a 70 year old man who is now asking the court to change the date on his birth certificate because he feels more in his 40s. The amount of times that the earth has orbited the sun while he's been alive means absolutely nothing. What matters is how he feels. Now here comes trans able. People who feel like they should have been disabled. Some of them even try to cut off their limbs and cause themselves harm just to feel disabled. The fact that they are perfectly healthy means absolutely nothing. What matters is the way they feel. Trans racial, trans age, and transgender. What's next? Now, before I get called all kinds of phobics, I will say this. Every human on this planet deserves their human rights. I do not wish to kill, harm, enslave, or maim the trans community. But what I am asking is for the trans community to stop the bullshit. Because if you feel this way, that doesn't mean that we should also see you this way. I see myself as handsome. However, if I went to court to force through a motion that all that look at me should call me handsome, well, that's just plain arrogant and egotistical. I'm entitled to my feelings, as are you. But your feelings are about yourself. They should not be my concern. They are your concern. What trans people are asking us to do is to see them the way they see themselves. It's perception. And perceptions are subjective and not objective. Your perception is not our perception. And we are not obligated to call you the thing that you wish to be called. Now, what does the future look like? In my opinion, if we continue along these lines, there will be such blurred lines that we will reach the point of no return. I want us to be very careful because we are raising a generation of very smart young people. And if an adult can identify as a younger person, then the time will come when that younger person now wants to identify as an adult. And hey presto, we will have parents that are now older, or sorry, younger than their actual children. The actress Charlie Theron is raising her adopted boy as a girl. She stated that at three years old, he said to her, I'm not a boy. And bingo, she decided to raise him as a girl. Now, I would love for that child, okay, to say to his mother at seven years old, I'm not seven, mummy, I'm 54. And see if she now wants to raise him as a 54-year-old man or woman. The lines of facts are about to become very blurred.
And apparently, we, the rational thinking public, will be wrong for speaking about the descending madness. There will come a time where a grown man that identifies as a child and a child that identifies as an adult will engage in a relationship. And the words child molester and paedophilia will not be enough because they will be drowned out by I identify as and could you use the proper pronoun? This is our future. But what do I know? I'm just some black guy on the internet.